Hi, welcome to Social Research Insights. My name is Kamakshay Musunuru. I am Principal Consultant at Social Research Insights. Social Research Insights is not a business organization. It is a freelance training outfit. Uh, we have a lot of content online. Uh, all the content is absolutely free. However, we would like to suggest you to consider us calling for uh, staff, faculty and student training um, but the training must be related to data science, analytics and I IoT. Today in this uh, uh, video cast, uh, through this video cast, I'm going to give a small demonstration as how to execute Hadoop example files. So I install Hadoop as a single node distribution, we call it as pseudo distribution mode. Uh, so when we install Hadoop in a single computer, it is called single node pseudo distribution uh, node. So when we install Hadoop um, by default we'll be having some example files so we can uh, test or learn as how to write the MapReduce programs and execute them through uh, uh, through the Hadoop uh, cluster. So MapReduce is actually a data processing um, architecture we call it as MapReduce Paradigm. Uh, it is a beautiful, um, um, it has beautiful mechanisms to process the data, especially when the data is uh, available from HDFS, that is Hadoop Distributed File System. So first let me show you how to find the path for Hadoop examples. Uh, I installed my Hadoop in uh, um, um, that is uh, user local uh, Hadoop something like that so to change the directory in Linux we use CD user uh, local and Hadoop so stop there and here you should be having so many uh, folders related to Hadoop you can find some folder called share apart from the bin and dustbin so we need to get into this uh, share cd share in share you have again hadoop and in hadoop you have MapReduce. here you have all the example files you see hadoop MapReduce examples 2.7.2 sometimes you find the color of this file as in red but in my computer it is, it is green uh, showing that i have sufficient privileges over this directory so that is how i installed hadoop in my computer so we need to make use of this Hadoop MapReduce examples um, jar file in order to uh, implement the MapRed paradigm over the data that which we uh, have in the HDFS, like you know shared distribution uh, uh, disk. So we need to uh, remember the present path, mm, and uh, I'll try to create an environment variable from this by using this path so that it is easy for me to uh, execute the files so in 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 linux like in ubuntu we have export so create an environment file hadoop underscore examples and then is equal to copy uh, paste the path for the so till my producer we have this address till map reduce so we need to use the you can also include this mm, jar file within the path but let us so now uh, you can check if the hadoop examples is av available the path set properly or not by executing uh, echo dollar sign ha hadoop examples then you should be able to see the path so once you are ready now we need to uh, we need to have some data from hdfs hdfs stands for the hadoop distributed file system and uh, to to i already have some data on my hadoop distributed file system which, which is a shared memory across the cluster so the for, for instance if you have some four or five computers connected as in the form of a cluster the entire cluster make use of this memory which is hdfs to process the data so let us see whether i have the data i i have the data in in hdfs but let me see if you if i would like to see the data 
whether it is there or not in the HDFS, I should execute a statement HDFS DFS ls. I already have a directory called dir1. I created a layer, and um, yeah, I did not start. I have to start my cluster start all sh. So I think I should have. Mm. So current user. So this is how we can uh, start the cluster with the help of start all sh. So now I'm going to start my cluster. So soon after you start the cluster, I'll. So we can start doing all the uh, uh, operations or tasks related to uh, Hadoop or whatever it is. So now let me see if my cluster has started. The other way is, it should be six, yeah, exactly. Now I can use the HDFS DFS, the earlier command. I was trying to execute, but it was not working. So I have all these directories. I have a directory called dir input. Let me see hdfs df what is there inside this dir. Your tab function will not work inside hdfs. So it should be very clear. Uh, I have a, a file txt txt. So let us use one of the mm, one of the functions. Uh, so let me show you what are the different uh, example functions that we have in this MapReduce example. Uh, to execute this uh, MapReduce jar file, we need to use Hadoop, not HDFS, please be cautious. Hadoop jar, then use dollar sign Hadoop e examples. Then here we did not include this um, Hadoop. My reduce I think my version 2.7. Mm. Examples, yeah, examples of jar. Now you can simply press enter so that it will throw some information as what are the different functions that are available from this map reduce jar file. Examples jar file. Let us try our example with uh, 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 an example function. Uh, let us try our data with uh, an example function known as word count. This is one of the important uh, tasks that we try to do when we performing when we, we are performing some text analytics. The purpose of the word count is to create uh, the frequency table for different words. Um, so I'll show you my uh, word file in uh, HDFS. Let us see the contents of the word file. I think I have an in input text txt. So here if I want to see the contents I should use cat function instead of ls. So this is some of the text that I have. Mm, I think it is better to have a different text uh, so that it is easy to comprehend. I'll create some text in my local file system. So let me go to the text files. Do I have text or I have temporary file? So cd tmp. Here I should be having, yeah, I don't have. These are all Java files. So let me create uh, sudo sudo make directory text files some directory ls i think i should be having the text files now mm, present working directory uh, okay it is created in temporary okay no problem so cd text uh, files now I create a text file and keep some gender based data so that it is easy for us to comprehend how to count the 
sudo gedit I like gedit because it exactly looks like notepad in windows mm, gender gender txt now I put some data here male female imagine that this data is some survey based data uh, we want to analyze create a frequency table as how many male and female individuals are there in this file so that makes a good context to start with um, for data processing in Hadoop now clear I have the yeah, agenda text now HDFS mm, DFS if I want to tra transport this data I mean if I want to take this file and put it in the HDFS I have a function called put DAR one mm, input then that's all now uh, yeah I think I did not specify the gender text yeah now let us see if this file is there in or not in the HDFS DAR1 uh, input I should have gender yes correct so now we are going to process this particular text file which is there in the actually we don't put the data in HDFS data arrives to HDFS automatically either through some web crawler or maybe um, sensor based data we have a lot of data today that which automatically comes to HDFS and we need to process the data which is coming to HDFS by their own means uh, for that we need to have MapReduce program okay you can study more about the MapReduce online there's a lot of information now let me go and uh, process the data uh, what is the function that we are going to use word count so how do uh, jar do examples mm, here I should have how mm, do my produce examples word count so I think I should have, yeah word count so my input directory is directory one mm, input and in that I have gender txt my output directory is going to be one output please be cautious that I should not have this particular output directory in my existing directory uh, that is the only caution so, so if you have the directory then it will give you there let us let me execute and see if I have the directory yeah I think I should be having the directory Mm, it already exist so <laughs> hdfs dfs ls dr1 yeah I have output 1 2 3 so I can not even assign output 1 this time so I should go for output 4 then press enter now we should yes it's start the processing started and you can see the map as well as radius the parallel processing starts now uh, we have an advantage to see how many iterations of the map and how many iterations how much of map and how much of map 100% finished now radius started S since this is a single node cluster so the map and radius go simul not d does not go simultaneously but it go subsequently but if you have a cluster then you would be having a chance to watch how parallel processing happen in Hadoop now after fin uh, the finishing the task you should get this type of you know the statement completed successfully so that we can just go back and see now HDFS DFS what is our output directory DR1 output out, output 4 so let's see what is there in the in the directory yeah we have a content called success and the another content called perhaps we should be having our results in part dash or dash five zeros so how to see that I already told you HDFS DFS LS I think it's cat CAD DIR1 output 
4 then part or 1 2 3 4 5 that's all so we have six female individuals and 13 male individuals in our data so this is how we can make use of the example files and study how MapReduce parallel processing happens in Hadoop given some input directory a text in the test uh, some data in uh, uh, some certain directory which we usually know as input directory and we, we can redirect the processing results to some other output directory thanks for watching this uh, video and um, if you like l uh, press like button and stay tuned for the new content thank you